The Steam Deck is an amazing emulation device. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play PS2 games on the PCSX2 emulator. And I'm going to show you how to install it with no third party application. We're going to go directly to the source. And in my opinion, this is the easiest way to do so. Now, in order to install the emulator, everything will be done on desktop mode on the Steam Deck. In order to get there, it's very easy. All you have to do is click on the Steam button and then head down to power select A, and then go down to switch to desktop, and you're done. So the first thing we want to do is download the emulator, open up your browser, Firefox in this case, and go to pcsx2.net. Once you're there, click on the download tab on the top left. And once you're on that page, you wanna look at the stable releases. So under latest stable, click the down arrow, and you want to download the Linux app image because Steam Deck runs on Linux. Click on it and it should automatically start downloading. And once it's downloaded, take that file out of the downloads folder and put it on your desktop. It'll be a lot easier to work with. Now to organize everything even better, I'm going to create a PS2 folder and I'm going to run everything from this folder from the desktop. So create that folder simply by left clicking on the desktop. I like using a mouse with the Steam Deck, but you can just use your left bumper and then move that application into that folder. And then once you're in there, open that folder and then run that application. You'll get a prompt, just click trust the application. And once you're on the main menu, you wanna download and install the latest update. So go ahead and do that. Now, in order to run this application, you do need a PS2 BIOS. And the only way to do that legally is by extracting it from a PS2. Now, unfortunately, due to copyright issues, I'm not gonna show you how to get that off Google, but it's easily found. Now, I have a copy of a BIOS on an external SD card. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that BIOS folder into that PS2 folder we just created, and I'm gonna name it BIOS. Now, what you need to do is you're gonna open up the emulator application, and then you're gonna to go to settings. And once you're in the settings application, you wanna click on BIOS. Now here, simply locate the folder where the BIOS is, and it will automatically populate all the different BIOS that are in that folder. Now I have pretty much every BIOS from every region. So that means when you are loading up ROMs, you'll be able to practically play every single game from around the world. You're not restricted to a single region or geo-locked. Now, just like the BIOS, I do have a copy of ROMs on an external SD card, and I'm also going to take this copy and then paste it into that PS2 folder we had created. That way, everything is run locally on our Steam Deck. So go ahead and copy that folder of any ROMs that you may have and just simply name it ROMs paste it and then what you want to do is you're going to run that application again and we're going to set up your rom directory in order to play your games now on the main page of the application click on add game directory here select the folder where your roms are located and then make sure you click yes this means that every time you add games or ROMs to this folder, they will automatically show up on your page. So you don't have to actively relocate the folder. And here, as you can see, all the games are automatically loaded and we're one step closer to playing them. Now, before we start gaming, we need to adjust the emulation settings. So head on to the settings tab and then click on emulation. Now by default, these should be the settings, but Pause the screen and make sure you have it exactly like this. In my experience, these are the best settings under emulation. Now, the one thing you do want to do is you want to go down and enable vertical sync under the frame pacing tab. This will ensure you don't get any frame tearing when you are playing at any frame rate or refresh rate on your Steam Deck. Next, head on to the graphics menu under the settings tab. And under the graphics API, make sure you have Vulkan selected. If you don't have the selected, you're not gonna get the most out of your Steam Deck performance. And under adapter, make sure you select AMD. Now, everything else here is preference, but I prefer to play in borderless full screen and in widescreen, even though the original PS2 was in four by three. However, click on apply widescreen patches and it'll allow you to play all the original PS2s in widescreen without any issues at all. 
I also like to enable anti-blur just to make the games look a little bit better. Everything else here is default and I advise not changing any of these settings for the best frame rate and the best experience. Now next we want to set up our memory cards and this will allow you to save games. So go to the settings tab and then click on memory cards. Now under memory cards and the folder, click on browse. And then where we had created that PS2 folder, create a new folder and name it memory cards or anything you want. This is where all your save games and memory cards will be held. Once you're done, select choose. And then at the bottom, hit create. And then this will give you a number of options, but I prefer to use the first option at the top, the eight megabyte memory card, which was like the original PS2. And then once you're done, name your card, whatever you'd like. Click OK. And then here you want to right click and then use for slot one. This is important. If you don't do this, you won't have your memory card loaded. And lastly, we want to set up our controller. So go into the settings and hit controllers. And then under global settings, make sure you enable SDL input source and click on the DualShock 4 setting. Next, on the left side, click on controller part one. And by default, your Steam Deck should automatically be mapped. You can change these settings how you like if you prefer to invert your controls or you want to change the buttons. But I recommend just leaving it as is because by default, your Steam Deck will be fully compatible with the PS2 controls and will work just fine. Once you're done, save your settings and you're good to go. Now, lastly, to make your life super easy, go on to your application. Now, right click on it and make sure you click add to Steam. Now, you don't have to be in desktop mode anymore in order to run your PS2 emulator. It can be done directly from your library. And that's it. That's how easy it is to play PS2 games on your Steam Deck. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.